kind of a person puts a ship in a bottle? Wow. Uh, you could say someone that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> or someone with a steady hand, a keen eye, and a peculiar passion. The type of person that pursues this art, they're in the puzzles because it is a, a puzzle on how to get something big through a small opening diameter. Jim Goodwin is a ship in the bottle builder in Charlotte, North Carolina. For how long have you been putting ships in bottles? Oh, uh, pushing 15 years. I've been hitting the bottle for that long. <laughs> and in that time, he's launched hundreds of ships into glass. It's difficult for me to walk into the liquor store because I will go on the shelf and turn the bottle sideways. And of course, the, uh, you know, the people at the liquor store are going, can I help you? Have you ever put a speedboat in a bottle? I have. I bet I could get a kayak in a bottle. That would be easy. <laughs> oh, it that's would. Begin that's for beginners. Right. But Goodwin's no beginner. He's gone well beyond the sea. Doesn't seem very hard to get a lighthouse in a bottle. Well, the hardest part is carving the, um, the light and making sure that it fits through the mouth of the bottle. And if it doesn't fit in, through the mouth, you know what you got? A cork. Goodwin's shipyard, a.k.a. his garage, is stocked with liquor bottles. He begins all of his projects with a block of wood, shaping each and every one by hand, a process that can take more than 30 hours. The art is known as a patient's bottle, and I joke and say, well, yes, you know, you either have it or you lose it. The building of patient's bottles began in the 1700s, a solitary craft practiced by monks and miners who would create whole scenes inside of bottles. Not long after, it became the pastime of sailors out at sea for months at a time. And they were built mainly for sweethearts, loved ones, and a lot of times sailors would build them and sell them to in, uh, clear up their debts from when they were in port. Robert Hughes works at Savannah, Georgia's Ships of the Sea Museum, home to a small permanent collection of ships and bottles. It, it, it's the mystery. It's how do they do it? You know, do they build it inside the bottle? Do they cut the glass? Once you handle one, you'll notice that on the glass, no cuts, that they are all bottles and you cannot figure out how they get them in there. It's an amazing thing. But even in the world of ships and bottles, there are sharks. What do you think of the cheaters in this trade? The people who actually just saw the end off of a bottle and put the ship in there? I think it degrades the art. I've even seen some people where they actually cut the base of the bottle right here and then stuck the ship going up that way and then, then mounted it on a piece of wood. So how does Jim Goodwin do it? How does he get a whole ship through such a tight opening? All right, well, I think I'm ready to put a ship in a bottle. Okay, now, at the base of the mass, you see that there is a hinge. Wow. Lower that down into the bottle. Okay, like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it fine, doing fine, lad. Wow, and then pull out? Yeah, and then that raises everything up there. Wow. There you go. Excellent, my first ship in a bottle. Oh, put her there, matey. <laughs> <laughs>